What's going on guys? Back working on a Hemi Swab Jeep Renegade. As you can see, working on the cooling system next. Unfortunately, there's nothing left of the front end to mount any of the cooling system to. So that means I got a tube chassis of the whole front end. So let's take a closer look at the frame rails, see what I got to work with, uh, see what I did, uh, kind of chop some stuff up, but you know, I'll make it work. So you can see front frame rail chopped off, you know, just to get it out of the way. In order to clean it up, going to go ahead, cut these out on my CNC plasma table. Going to go ahead, cut the frame back, probably about right back here, and get rid of all this. Weld this on the front, and that'll give me a starting point to build off for the tube chassis front bumper. Uh, go with a radiator core support, kind of tie everything together. Going to have to support the headlights, the grill, cooling system, AC condenser, all that. As you can see, this is... Yeah, this is just flopping around right now. So, but I guess I'll go ahead and start chopping the frame out, get these plates welded on, and then uh, start going from there. Frames capped off, welded up, and I got a base plate here bolted on. This is what I'm going to be building off of for the front frame horns. I uh, got to build a kind of stanchion coming off here. that will grab a piece of inch and three quarter DOM that'll act as the front bash bar. And that'll be the basis of where I built everything off of. It'll be removable so I can get in here, pull the engine, whatnot if I need. Or, you know, if it does get in a wreck, I can always uh, repair it pretty easy. Guess I'll go inside and uh, work on the frame horns. All right, so yeah, it's been raining all morning, but uh, finally stopped, everything's still wet, so it's gonna rust, of course. <laughs> but gonna go ahead, throw these front frame horns on, and then uh, we can start mocking up the front bash bar. So, should bolt on. A little stubborn, but. Ooh, some tight clearance. Yeah, that'll work, I'll just. I probably won't be able to weld the top there from the outside. Just weld it on the inside there. Shouldn't be an issue. And... All right, yeah, I got a piece of inch and seven eighths just as a scrap piece. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. All right, so I'm having a little trouble getting this thing to fit perfect. Uh, Measurements were off, but I got the original bumper here from the Renegade. You can see the contour, nice and smooth radius. But if I follow that, I can't fit the, the uh, chargers, radiator, AC condenser, and cooling fans all in this area here. So I have to go with further out of a bend, more aggressive bend. And uh, that means the brackets that I made initially I intended on them landing flat, but it's going to be in the bend, so, oh well. We'll make it work though. May have to rework it, but going to go ahead. This is just a test piece, uh, ex flexible exhaust tubing. Uh, you can see, you can bend it by hand, fit whatever shape you need, and it's a lot easier, a lot cheaper than messing up a whole bunch of DOM tubing. So this thing was like five bucks at AutoZone. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead, check out. Got everything laid up in the pipe bender, and I guess we'll go for a bend.
Ooh, bent it the right way. <laughs> That's always good. Now I guess I'll test it out on the front, see if it fits. All right. Let's see how it landed out. All right, it's way too close. So I need 11 and a half inches from the harmonic balancer to the inside, and I'm sitting nine and seven eighths. Yeah, so it's gonna have to come way out. So I ended up redoing these front frame horns. I didn't like the first design. I made it too short. Uh, my initial measurements were off by about an inch and a quarter. So, but you can see this thing fits so much better. Perfect contact on here. Outside, I got a bit of a gap, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and grind this a little bit just to push this in a little bit more. Uh, I am kind of making contact right here with the fascia where the little toe recovery bolts into. Uh, but other than that, man, I'm really liking this fit. This is much better. I also integrated a lower radiator mount support bracket uh, bolt. Two bolts here, come off with a one inch bar, dropping down and then riding along the front there. And I do need to cap those guys off or at least grind them, <laughs> jeez. But yeah, this is looking so much better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and throw the fascia on here uh, just so you guys can get a look at it. But other than that, ah uh, shit, things about ready to be fully welded and then start adding some bars. All right, so taking a look down behind the bumper, you can see that thing is fitting in there tight. There is no room for error. It is damn near perfect. Uh, much better than I was expecting. I'm uh, really glad I ended up redoing these brackets. Uh, it would have looked like would have looked like garbage if I would have just modified the first ones. So this uh, this revision's a lot better. Plus, I got built-in crumple zones, reinforced a little bit, you know. So uh, if I do take an impact, that's going to smash before the rest of the frame does. So that's pretty good. So now I guess I'll go ahead, pull the front fascia off, and uh, maybe start working on the radiator support. I'm going to have to drop down and do like a, a lower support for the radiator. And then I'll worry about the top mount. But man, I'm liking, you can't even tell what's going on in there. But yeah, it's going to be a good fitment. Not quite enough room to fit as much as I wanted. I think the radiator uh, fans and the AC condenser is like seven inches thick. So we got 11 inches from the inside of the bar to the harmonic balancer. And accessories are out a little further. So we, we got plenty of room though. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll uh, get back at it. It's not half bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Actually turned out pretty good. So got the front bar solid welded on. Still going to be cooling off for a while, but when I hit through the radiator in there. Yeah. So I figure lower support, upper support. Going to have to tie in. Those are the factory style mounting tabs. Got to leave a couple inches of clearance for the AC condenser. I guess I'll go ahead and start whipping up a lower support and uh, get that thing going.
So, tons of progress. Got the front bash bar, frame horns, all fixed up, welded in place. Lower radiator mount, upper radiator mount, crossbar, upper core support coming across here, tying into the original uh, upper frame. And I integrated headlight mount. That's a nine inch LED off-road light which has low beams and high beams and running lights. So I'll be mostly street legal, which, you know, it's a good thing. <laughs> and as you can see, I went ahead and made a custom grill here, just in case I am ever running without the front fascia, you know, front plastics on, you'll definitely be able to tell that it is most likely a Jeep, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and Holly EFI high ram. Yeah, thing looked good. Oh, also, this is radiator, or I mean, a coolant expansion tank. See, I had to trim it quite a bit. Uh, I was hitting the thing, you know, uh, the charger frame rails are much wider than the Renegade, so trim that. Could have gone a little wider, but I think it'll be good. Still have to run all the coolant lines, but yeah, I know this episode started off. I intended on running all, you know, getting all the coolant system ready, but quickly evolved into, you know, aesthetics, whole front end piece. It's completely unnecessary, but got an idea, figured I'd go for it, and it turned out really good. So yeah, this is solid 3 8 steel, plasma cut, little bracket, and it unbolts. So two 6 mil bolts, hold everything on, and I can pull that whole thing off. So yeah, this I think this is an inch and a half thick uh, three row radiator. It's going to cool off plenty. Uh, should be able to do... You know, decent amount of burnouts. Don't have a whole lot of room between. I may be able to fish on a belt, <laughs> and that's about it. But yeah, oh, one one thing you might notice: the uh, AC condenser is much shorter than it usually is. That's because I wasn't really aware of it. But the radiator, I mean the but the AC condenser also has the transmission cooler mounted right on top. But unfortunately, the grill was in the way of installing the entire AC condenser. So I went ahead, cut this guy off. It's completely sealed. So uh, I'd never really even looked at one. But once I started realizing the seams right here and this row uh, did not actually pass any fluid. It's just a solid plate. So I went ahead, chopped that off, cut off wheel. And I mean, this one is damaged. This is just a sacrificial it got smashed during shipping so my next one i'm gonna go ahead do the same thing but a lot cleaner still got to paint everything up painting the bottom bar but you know but man it's <laughs> this thing is turning out pretty nice much better than i was expecting you know just going off a you know just mental picture figuring out what it should look like and uh it's actually turning out so the fascia goes ahead bolts up to these four bolts here, eight millimeter threads and ties in here. Headlights fit pretty good. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and throw the plastics on there so you can get a good look at it. So whole front end goes on in one chunk. It's actually uh, not that bad. So, whoop, just gotta align it. We get in too big of a rush. So those holes line up, pops right in. That's good to go. All I got to do, drop some bolts down in here and it'll permanently secure it. Yeah, as you can see, whole front end fits touching right here, which isn't that big a deal. Uh, but we got about a quarter inch of clearance on this side. So that's mostly because this plastic here is pushed back in there just for the toe recovery hitch or toe recovery. But yeah, the whole thing is it's actually coming together. Yeah, we'll take a closer look here. You can see I don't have a whole lot of room down below here. That is cutting it real close. But you can see, I don't know if you're familiar with the factory Renegade grills. These are mostly solid plastic, uh, non-functional grill. This piece here is just a stick-on cover, black plastic trim piece, eBay, Amazon something. But I went ahead and cut the factory grill out from the backside. You might be able to see it. I just flush cut everything. No, it's too dark in there. 
So yeah, I just flush cut everything, cleared up all those holes, so I'll be able to get a ton of airflow through there. One of my biggest concerns is cooling, but man, yeah, those cheap headlights, but they'll be uh, they'll be good for now. I want to find a, a better set, but these are the first ones I could find that were high and low beams. And as you can see, with the front fascia on here, you can't even tell that I built that grill. They're fit up in there pretty tight. You can see, you know, if I were to paint them, I mean, they are just raw steel right now. So they are getting painted because they're uh, definitely going to rust. All this stuff will rust if I don't paint it. That's ah, aluminum. But man, it is looking good. Whew. Let's drop the hood down, see what it looks like. Jeez. <laughs> Man. It looks kind of menacing, even without knowing that there's a V8 in there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, gonna get a ton of airflow. I might even open up, pop some holes, make some type of trim piece opening along this front section here, just to get some more airflow. Because as of right now, just the bottom, that little slit, and about the top, just the top of the radiator is gonna get some real positive airflow. I do got dual radiator fans, so that's gonna help out, but Man, I just don't want heating, overheating to be an issue. But <laughs> All right, so I think that's a good stopping point. Got pretty much the whole front end knocked out. Cooling system's not done, which was, yeah, that was the initial goal, but got sidetracked, went ahead, built the whole front end, and I'm happy with this progress. I still have to run all the coolant lines. Well, I'll be doing that over the next few days, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, it's five o'clock, sun's already dropping. Yeah, this daylight savings has been brutal. Haven't really had a chance to record a whole lot. You know, as soon as I get home from work, it's already dark. Mosquitoes are out. I've just been focusing on getting work done, which isn't great for content, but I've been making tons of progress. I got the ECU getting tuned right now. Fuel system's done. Engine's done. Coolant system's almost done. Brakes are done. Wiring. I got to start running the wiring. Ooh, I picked up a bunch of sheet metal too. Uh, a couple 5x10 sheets of 16 gauge steel so I can... Uh, finish the floor, finish the firewall, block all that in. So when I do get this thing running, I'll be able to put it on the road, no problem. Don't have to worry about things flying into the cab. But this thing is sitting so much better than it was on the last video. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll wrap it up here. Thank you all for following along with the build. I'll see you in the next one.